going to work on the adding a new timer. We went through all the settings in the last video, so this one will be um, showing how to add a new timer and new kind of features. <clears throat> now remember that um, when you're in the timer, there's always a link back to um, the help area on the WP Countdown Timer website. Okay. All right. So here we have um, the first thing we do is set the time that we're going to be able to um, turn the timer up for. So let's say I want to set it up to the end of the month, which is July. Make any hour you want, 14 minutes. That's set up. And then uh, what you can do is update it to the preview. So the preview of what each <coughs> of the script the energy of time look like. <coughs> so the voice is kind of like right now. And you can see the uh, various formats. Um, you know, if you go further, you know, years, months, and so sort of things are usually you know, mode here where we're using days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Here's where the slider bar, which you can adjust your um, bar, your countdown uh, timer to all the different sizes. And be mindful that if you are using the gift timer, the larger you may go a lot of the file will be um, but you have to you know, go to get the title text is the top of the timer. So we'll say this author is following and we can put anything we want there. Okay, it's not a lot of um, the timers um, already have you know, only limited things that you can add. So and also you can see I make it a lot larger and adjust according. So I'll make it a little smaller, just more manageable in the video. Preview as it goes. You can take a look at it. Okay. Um, yeah, but you, you can also add an item during the countdown. So you can add one item and say, hurry now this offer. And it's like in the time during that signal. Okay, the four. Now it's on. And then they have long you want to display. So let's say go to um, 100 seconds. Okay. So what that'll do is um, this. So instead of saying these numbers here, it'll come across with a, a written message. Okay. Um, you know, on expiration, you can do the same thing. You can say, sorry, yes, it's awful. And you can redirect it or not to some other URL. All right. And if you're here, um, you can add whatever fonts you have in the database. Those are unlimited. As far as colors, and the title text, and the digits, and what we call the label. This area down here you can change every font and color of, of the text and the background of the font. Okay? And that's pretty much it. So you can save your timer. We'll save it to the database. Let's go over here. So go to your timers page. The last one that we did will be right here. Okay? So uh, of course it going to do all of the various ways to be able to add it to your page. You can also edit any one of these before they expire or you can delete them. Okay? That's pretty much it for WP Countdown Timer. I hope you enjoy using other sites. Thanks for your purchase.